Hello, my fellow Americans. Tis I, the rumpled one. I know this video is late. Just didn't. Guess I just didn't feel like talking about it at the time. But the second Republican debate really wasn't quite what I expected. I expected there to be a little more fireworks. But it was a pretty good debate, I have to say. But I'll tell you one thing. Donald Trump let me down. Or his handlers, his people let me down. And here's what I mean. We all know he made that comment about Carly's face. Something about, can you imagine looking at that face every day or something along those lines. He should have had a much better comeback than what he did, in my opinion. Number one, I think what he should have said was, Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We're up here trying to have a debate, and you're going to talk about something like that? I mean, we're talking about things like ISIS, immigration, you know, this Planned Parenthood fiasco. We're talking about serious issues, and you're going to ask me about a comment like that? What do you think this is? Do you think this is some reality TV show? I mean, really? Are you asking me this question? You've got to be kidding me. Then, I would have said, you know, people talk about my hair all the time. If I can't take, you know, some lighthearted ribbing, if I can't take that, I don't belong up here. I mean, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. I mean, as, a, as the president, I'm going to be taking heat every day. People are going to be saying things about me, how I look, what I said. You know, we got to be able to, to focus on what's important, not just nonsense. You've got to be kidding me asking me this question. That's how I would have handled it. I would have just nailed him. There's just no reason why he should have let that go on. He, he really gave everybody a pass, saying, you know, look at her. She's a beautiful woman. Donald, that was just so disappointing. But other than that, I think he held his own. You know, Carly's numbers shot up. Ben Carson's numbers shot up. You know, a couple of the others, I don't even know why they were there. I mean, to me, it's ludicrous. You've got 16, 17 candidates. You should draw a line in the middle. You say, hey, any, you know, the top half get to come sit at the grown-up table. The bottom half, they go to the kids' table. I mean, these guys with 1% of the, in the polls, why are they up there? I mean, okay, they want to make it fair. Well, if you don't want to do it that way, then what they should do is put all the names and they pull names out of the hat and put them on the board. That way it's random. That way, maybe both debates get watched the same. So we don't have this, you know, the parents table or the adult table, kid table. I mean, really, that would have been a much better way to do it. That would have been simple. Or better yet, they could have pulled it and it could be like uh, the uh, NCAA, you know, March Madness, where you pit them against each other and then let people vote on who won the debate. And then you just you, you come down to the final two. But anyway, that's just my opinion. I'm curious, how do you think Trump should have handled that question? Because you knew it was coming. And it was almost like he was set up. I mean, he said, you know, he said something about Jeb. Well, you said this, and then they shot that question to, to Carly. It was almost like they handed it to her. And really, I think Carly should have said, you know what? Once again, she should say, we're up here to discuss important issues, not junior high school pranks. Or, or barbs. I mean, 
Really, she could have she could have really taken the high ground on that too. I think she missed an opportunity. But I'm really curious what you guys think. So let me know.